Alright, before I have some lamb, I just want to take a look at this game. Uh, Italian game, seemingly dry reputation. We go for the, you know, solid bishop e7. I like putting this bishop here in case I one day want to play knight a5 and c5. So I don't like putting it on c5. It doesn't allow me to get that expansion in the future with knight a5 and c5. Okay, now... When they play a3 or a4, I, I don't go for knight a5. and It's too easy for them to drop the bishop back to a2. So when they do a3 or a4, I like to just neutralize this bishop and just play bishop e6. With that being said, if they were to play like, like this, then I would go for knight a5 and, and, you know, go for the expansion over here. Or, or take this guy first, and then of course, yeah, take this guy first, and then, um, yeah, get the two bishops. So, um, like if they play c3, d6, say h3, castle, castle, then I will play knight a5 again, and get this, get this guy going, like, uh, Roy Lopez close variation. Alright, uh, Claude, it's really not that. I just sometimes feel like playing e5. It's, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Okay, knight c3. This line has a more impact when they play bishop c5. I've played this way as, as, as white in a, in a big game. Black should play h6, but uh, Morphe played h6. But here, white can get the center like c3. Capablanca played this one. So it's okay, but... Uh... Uh... uh Anyway, but what's interesting about this game is that it seems very uh, quiet. Um, but then, okay. Now, when he takes, I'm happy about that. Take away the squares, f5 and d5 from his knights. Also, the semi-open f-file. And here, yeah, just castle. I'm not really worried about g4. I can always play. A number of moves, uh, knight d7, knight h7, stopping g5. I wouldn't want to allow h4, g5. If he goes like this, yeah, then I just strike in the center, and he's lost. All right? Just take. So he can't really play g4. All right. Now, because he's been wasting time and his king's in the center, I did play d5. Usually, the conventional thinking is not to touch the doubled pawns and that they're in a central cluster. The, the more you push them, the, the more they can become weak. That's written about in Nimzovich. But in this case, I thought that a quick d5, d4 might cause him some problems, especially if he's going to go castle long. Also, also there is with tactics behind d5. In particular, pawn takes, pawn takes, knight takes, knight takes, queen takes, possibly bishop takes, a3. So, I like to move d5 here for tactical considerations. Now, again, if he takes, I would take with the pawn. If knight takes, um, I looked at this, but this is even better. This might just win. Knight d4. He can't play queen e3 because knight c2, so he's got to play this, and now his king is absolutely wrecked. In the center, he's not going to get castled. If he plays f4, they're going to be sacrifices. Yep, and we don't even need to sack. Now he can't get castled. And he's basically getting made it. I mean, g3 is not too appetizing. So, just like that, the move d5 will create an immediate crisis. This was playable too, and my move bishop a3 is still better for me. Although he does have castle long, which makes it complex. Something like that. Knight e4. You know, complicated. Uh, yeah, well, I, I, over time, uh, Jova, I decided that I'm, you know, a4, a6, a3, I like to go bishop e6, pretty much neutralizing him in general. There's some exceptions, but I, I feel like through a bunch of play, I, I felt this way. You can see he has nothing here. And uh, as for this variation castle, you see this line, 0.9, this is not correct. Um, 
I, yeah, now I could just play g4, g5, and his king is committed. And I don't really feel like he has anything. Like d4, I'm fine. I, I could castle long in this position. I haven't committed my king yet. I could go for rook g8 and g4. So, computer telling me point nine here is, is, is incorrect. And as you see when we put this in, yeah, we, we when they play h3 and we haven't castled, and they and they castle with h3, you always can look maybe for a quick kingside attack with castle long. I mean, it is very famous, right? This position. Uh, oh, sorry. Here. Oh no. Yeah, this. Oh no no. Castle. D6. This is the well known position of Shigorin, right? Napier Shigorin in it. Um, well here you don't even need H3, but they, they committed their king too soon. Aronian Kramnik with G5 in the Berlin is a great game, which, which same idea with G, Rook G8 and Bishop G3. You can check out that game. I might link it. Bishop G3 and H5. This is a famous same type of thing. I saw Kaidanov lost a similar game in the in the the knockout the other day with a quick kingside attack against the Italian. So yeah, if knight g5 we sack the queen. I've talked about this multiple times. Every chess player needs to know this game. This is a beautiful game. Sacking the queen. Computer's wrong again. It hasn't calculated it out yet. Uh, and you can see that plus 2.3 is wrong. It hasn't seen bishop g4 yet. Let's give it some time to uh, Let's give him some time, the computer, to understand what's going on. I don't have time for this. Okay, take. Now bishop g4. Uh, yeah, there you go. Why not the evaluation just dip, 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 dip. There we go. So you can see that these computers saying plus 5, and now dip, dip, down, down, down. So, you know, this idea that if you just Im immediately accept what your, your blowfish is telling you, you're short circuiting, you know. I mean, obviously, 99% of the time it's right, but some of the times it's it's not. It's not right. So nowadays they're getting better, but they're still they're still mocked. Okay, so queen d2, and now and knight d4. This is a famous game. Now it realizes that 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 uh, that black is uh, winning. Like it gave knight e6. Don't we not have knight f3 here? Or am I missing a tactic? Yeah, I'm sorry, but it didn't see the mate from afar, so... So, yeah. Uh, and this is the idea, this is beautiful mate. So, you know, this is another example. Knight g7... What? King d8? Yeah. And mate. Yeah. Okay, so... Gh, by the way. Just in case. Check. Could also take like this. Uh, so yeah, so, so the game went, um, obviously if take here, it's mate and two, check, mate, or check, mate. So the game went knight d4, knight c3, and then knight, knight f3, again, the computer's a little slow, knight f3, if here, mate. So this is the, 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 the big inspirational game in the, in the, you know, Italian when they castle early. Now, so, so yeah, like if he castles here, yeah, I can go g5. Same idea. Okay. So yeah, I'm not worse here. I'm just that's my point. And and I like my position. I'm the one who has the the squares for for knight h5. I don't like a3 and h3. I also have queen e8. Queen h5, queen g6, like a Dutch. I got a lot of juice. I don't really think that he should have taken this immediately. I don't know. But, you know, the knight shouldn't be on c3, you know. It's lending me, it's allowing me knight d4. He, 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 you know. If he should have done this, I feel like he could have played like this with a4. I don't like the knight on c3. It, it, it gives me d, knight d4. And, you know, the knight belongs on d2 for knight g3 and all this. So, 
So I don't like this. And you can see me now take over the game with d5 and now knight d4. And and, and this causes severe problems. The knight's misplaced. He's, he's got to go back. He doesn't do that. He takes and now his position just collapses. He goes for the little cheap tactic, knight b5. But uh, I just, uh, I could do many things. I could actually go for the whole piece right now if I really wanted to. If he plays e5, I think knight h7. This piece is trapped. There are little tactics, you know, like this. But okay, I mean, still completely winning for me, knight f2. I'm up. I'm up. The whole pawn. Take, take, take. Just a easy pawn and ending. I don't know if it's winning, but his position's bad. Okay, knight b5, I played e5. This move is tricky, because if he takes, queen takes d5, or a6, wins the, the piece. But I was going to play here. I did see this, but if he does this, then queen a2 is winning. So that... So you can see his king, his king side is uh, particularly tender here. Oh wow, this is a beautiful move. Look at this shot. This not everybody would see this move. Uh, it's a very creative move. We don't just check and let the king out. No, we weave the mating net. This is a beautiful move. Knight a4. And it's you know force loss here. Uh, because this is mate. And, uh, obviously, if he takes, either way he takes, there's check. There's check. And, uh, bishop d2 D and queen a1. Queen a um, if he plays c3, then yeah, just dc3. Is over. It's pinned. Uh, and if take here, Bishop G5, and some sort of mate. King C2. Check. Here. Queen B5. Queen B5 is winning. Oh, no. Don't hang the queen. Queen B5 is winning for white. <laughs> so, Rook AD8. Now queen b5, yeah, so just, of course, check first, and then queen b5. Yeah. So, a very brutal mountain dog. Thank you. Uh, two, two, so yeah, e5. Yeah, don't hang the queen. Man. So anyway, this is a nice line, but he does have c4. He kind of holds a little bit, so we can just trap the queen. But anyway, you can see that, you know, his king is weak. His knight is misplaced. This game is headed downhill quickly and now his king gets exposed and remember opposite side at king battle you want to open up all the lines for the king to his king and my king is safe like a baby his king is not c5 is always coming just open the lines c5 and uh... c4 c4 would just be just overwhelming crush with a mate coming and forget his bishop. You know, so. so this idea that these positions are boring, no, not necessarily. You can still bring a lot of life to them if you if you uh, you know create art. Now here, you 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 really look at the, look at these pawns. Again, this position, I I like the move b4 that I played. You 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 you're not gonna respond to this. This is his only chance is to is to get some cheap mate over here. We we don't care about the knight. We have mate. We have all these rooks and pawns. This is b4. Again, if he takes here, we just take and it's mate. And then b3. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's over. Obviously, his king is totally exposed. c4. There's, there's no, no hope for him. Um, yeah, I mean, check and mate. That's not the only mate. There's also this mate. Mate. There's also this mate. There are a lot of mates. My point is that his king is exposed. So we don't need to respond to the move g5. We can just play b4. 
Okay, he does this again. Take. If he takes here, check is winning the rook. And the game. Oh, he, I, he had rook b3, but uh, again, to c4. Doesn't matter. If, uh. If rook a1, I'm tempted to even play c3 check. But okay, I, rook b3 is winning too. Yeah, I mean, this is winning too, c3. C3, take, check. Huh, look at that shot, knight e4, wow. Knight e4, this is mate. Uh, right. Okay, check. Yeah, well, I'm in the middle of a light shoot, but that's okay. Uh, rook b3, c4. Yeah, maybe. Maybe we gotta give him a mod. Okay, yeah, c4, and it just, it's just uh, crushed. I could also take like this. And then take. Look at these pawns. This is just me. Okay, so uh, very nice finish. So I played b4, no response to the position, and then I took. And I'm not going to give him everything for no reason, and then c4. Okay, now, he took, and again, no response to this. c takes d3. If he goes queen g4, we made him in one. So he has to take here, rook c3. Everything happening in rhythm. And now rook e c8 in rhythm. Rook a2, d3 or queen b3. Yes, I suggested queen b3 was suggested, but I I thought he had maybe this, and I I, I didn't want to even give him any chance of any luck. Like here, I guess I just have king e8, but I didn't even want to get involved in that. I may I, okay. I mean. Is King E8 winning too? Yes. But I didn't, I mean, look, why would I want to get involved in a ring around the rosy? This is not, you don't calculate this. Like, if you have a position like this, you don't get involved in this. There's no need. So that's why I didn't play Queen B3. That's why I played D3. Not allowing anything, keeping a direct threat, stopping Rook G1. And now he does this. I could play GF6, but uh, what I do? I checked. It's also winning completely. And Queen D4, beautiful, beautiful finish. Queen D4 threatening uh, the mate. Very happy with this game. Queen E3, and now give the queen for, for mate. Check. Well, well, it's not check, but the queen's hanging. And, um, and when he takes here, I, I make a rook. Three rooks. So, very nice E4, E5 game. Very pleased with it. Uh, he, he played this and then check, so thanks for that. And uh, let's, let's move on.